Happy Monday to you, Cadre. Barber Dave here with Barber Dave's Barber Shop at Home. Thank you for joining me for another shave. Uh, we're going on day number three with the Sebum Aqua and uh, the aftershave. The only difference in today's shave is we're going to be using a flare tip uh, with an Astro Blade and then the Sorrentino Corleone with the uh, synthetic knot. Went back to the synthetic knot today, but doing it a little bit different. I went ahead and floated a little bit of water on top of the uh, soap just to see if it would be any different in the loading and it appears a little bit different but i think i'll just keep the puck dry and then just make the brush a little bit wetter um when i lather i'm going to use this uh for probably a week straight to see if the claims are true regarding the face feel. Uh, now I can tell you just after three days that it has made a marked difference. Both in the uh, post shave and in the in shave feel. of the soap itself. So after three days, somebody had mentioned, you know, is it a crazy price for a soap and an aftershave? Yeah, it is. But once again, it's all about perception. You know, uh, some people wouldn't think twice about spending $400 for a uh, bottle of scotch and it's whiskey so to me whatever makes you happy and if that's a one dollar puck of williams great if that's a four hundred dollar bottle of scotch great if that's a three hundred dollar fountain pen great now all of these items including this soap can be gotten for 20 bucks but again it's in the perception of, of somebody. And I can tell you, um, just based on the soaps that I've used, this, um, this soap is the best so far. You know, I'm going to give it its fair shake, but so far, there's nothing that honestly compares to it, in my opinion. I've never had a razor and I've used everything now. I've used the vector and I've used a straight and now I'm using a DE, a very mild DE. And I've never had a razor glide so smoothly on any soap. You know, and frankly, I, I don't have a lot of slouches for soap. I mean, I feel that I have some of the best soaps in the world um, at any price point, whether that be Sterling, whether that be Ethos, whether that be SB, whether that be uh, um, Mystic Water, whether that be um, Kaizen. So I don't take, you know, my soap... I don't take my soap reviews or the quality of the soaps lightly before I make a claim. I do test them out. And uh, there's just something about this soap that is unlike 
any other soap. Um, I guess I could equate it to if uh, Ethos, CBL, SV, Sterling, Mystic Water. Because it's got a lot of the properties that I like in Mystic Water as far as the slickness and the face feel. But if all of those soaps had a baby and it was all natural, completely natural, this would be the, the child. What I can say is that after three days and lathering it three different ways, adding different amounts of water, and so forth, it is definitely the slickest and the uh, most cushioning shea soap I've ever used. So I'm glad that talking uh, back to Nurse Dave and Dave in Kentucky, I hope things get better for them. Um, I know that Chad's power got turned on late last night. Um, the SB brushes are on their way. There hasn't been any more hold, so I think it's just a matter of them getting from Kentucky to here via vehicle. So I'm assuming Wednesday or third, or probably Wednesday or Thursday this week. So those of you that are getting the SV brushes, um, I don't know the time yet, but more than likely it will be Sunday that we do the brush assignment. Had a good Zoom call last night, as you probably saw in Nurse Day's video. Lots of stuff to talk about. Um, Bruce's coffee roaster is absolutely amazing, although there was some hiccups. Um, you'll have to ask Bruce about that, but there were definitely some hiccups. Uh, Sam is sporting a KJ-esque Mohican. Mohawk for most of you. That looks pretty good. Shades of Robert De Niro and Taxi without the crazy. But we talked about everything last night. We talked about gardening. We talked about the new scotches that, um, that Dave has tried. Okay, so we're going to do something for KJ here. We have not added any additional water. Now, one thing I will say, it seems that the more I use this, and I haven't rinsed my brush out, the residual slickness in on KJ scale is, again, better than anything that I've ever used. Super slick still on the face. And my face is basically, you know, just whatever residual water was on it when I was shaving. able to do all my cleanup stuff including the fool's pass with no extra water at all. So now we'll rinse and see what the residual slickness is on the other scale. 
yeah, it's stupid slick. I mean, almost to the point of, I mean, nothing, I mean, everything falls. So, um, there's two categories right there that this soap just absolutely blows everything away. The post shave feel again is the best um, that I've felt. Um, like I said, you could get away with not using any of the aftershave, but you could just do this and be good. But the one thing I've noticed over the three days so far is the condition of my skin. And my skin was fairly decent to begin with because I spent a lot of time taking care of my skin. But yeah, it's just, I mean, there's still residual slickness and I've rinsed and dried. So the natural butters and oils that are in the soap are uh, tremendous. Um, again, another category where I feel that they are the best. Uh, real quick for Dave, this is for Nurse Dave. My Aquanaut says hello. If you can see him, he's in that that middle layer hanging around somewhere. There he is. And if I shake him up, he just starts cruising around. So anyhow, um, I would say the closest consistency to uh, the sebum uh, serum is that uh, Nivea. Um, and mix it with the aqua. So once again, you just use a drop and that's it. And then you rub it in real good. And I have no noticed a marked difference or noticeable difference just in the three days with using this serum. Um, it goes on kind of scary. I mean, you know, because I have oily skin as I've said before, but it very quickly absorbed. And we were 108 degrees yesterday and I was outside in it a little bit. And I was worried that I was going to get my patented burrito face and uh, nothing. I mean, absolutely um, nothing as far as um, oiliness. In fact, it actually kept my skin drier than uh, than it normally does so that was kind of odd so so far the claims of are 100 percent what uh what they say they are uh using the parasso talc today and one thing i noticed and i don't know if it's just the naturalness of the of the product but um the powder in my face seemed to say stay softer throughout the day um so yeah so far everything that uh uh and i'm sorry i don't know the gentleman's name in boston that uh is the manufacturer of sebum gold but everything that he claims and everybody that has reviewed it that i've seen uh everything is exactly um as advertised um so again, we'll do one more video tomorrow uh, with this, with a different razor, but the face feel and everything is great. Cadre, thank you so much for joining me for another shave, especially using the same product, the Sebum Aqua. Uh, if you haven't seen us before, www.theshavingcadre.com, home of the shave video. We're the first forum that really started doing this in essence and have our own forum just for our videos. So keep those videos coming in. We certainly do appreciate it. A shout out to Elmer Fudd, Todd, for winning our photo contest. Um, and he'll be running the photo contest for week number seven or eight, I think, something like that. Uh, so please get involved in that. Lots of other stuff going on on the forum. And soon, the big SB uh, brush reveal and uh, assignment of brushes, and we'll get those shipped out as quickly as we can uh, once they get here. I'm Barbara Dave. Thank you for joining Barbara Dave's Barbershop at Home. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.